Alright then, hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo. We're going to be moving away from the special events and heading back to the GT League for the final championship in the uh, A license division. It is of course the GT Cup. We're going to stay in the Mitsubishi FTO as well. And uh, let's have a quick look at the information of this championship. Then four races, we have Grand Valley Speedway, Deep Forest Raceway, Special Stage Route 5 and Trial Mountain. Of course, all the races or championships in the GT League all have the tracks going at the correct way rather than say deep forest raceway 2 for example so yep yeah, gt cup then uh pit yourself against top class drivers in this high caliber battle fort with hard tuned cars so yeah let's get started then with the first race and this championship is going to be very trivial the reason i'm staying in the fto is that i just want to get this championship over and done with and then we can move on to the international a's of course which are the endurance races which are going to be great fun to look forward to so that's all going to be well and good. Uh, so let's have a look at the entry list for race number one then. We have the FTO, of course, myself, the uh, TVR Griffith 500, the Super RZ, the R33 GTR, the Skyline, of course, the Impreza 96 SD, STI 3, and the Lancer Evo 4 GSR. So yeah, I am uh, very, very overpowered for this championship, to say the very least. So, um... Mm, no, I'm not going to bother qualifying, actually. I was going to say I could qualify for all these, get some extra money, but nah, I'm not going to bother. Because that, that would be too easy, and it's already going to be easy regardless, so. So, yeah, anyway, race number one. And the laps on these ones are fairly short as well. I think it's, yeah, three laps. Two, one, go. I'm just going to hang back a little bit just to pretend that I'm uh, going to have a hard time with this one. Oh no, I'm struggling to catch up with the skyline. Oh, whatever shall I do? Riffith goes wide, the Supra takes the inside line. Alright, enough playing around. Let's get the skyline out of the way. There we go. So yeah, like I said, this championship, with this car anyway, is very trivial. And for winning this championship, you get given the Chaser Le Mans Edition, uh, which is a car I usually used to use for the endurance races, but I won't be using that one this time. I might use it for one of the night races, maybe, I don't know, Club and Stage, or sorry, uh, Special Stage Route 11 too. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. So I do have a, a couple of cars that I'm interested in using for the endurance races, but... You know, I may change it up a little bit. And that is lap one complete. Two to go. 147.2. We could probably knock a lot of time off that. Ooh. A little bit squirrely on the brakes. But yeah, anyway, I mean, this game is not really much of a challenge, to be fair. I mean, it is... It, it lacks a lot of the the difficulty that Gran Turismo 2 ramped up a little bit. I mean, some of the championships, not all of them, granted, but some of them can be a little bit on the difficult side. Uh, this one, not really. Because the majority of the time, anyway, once you win a championship, they literally hand you a car for the next championship anyway, so it's like, okay, so you've won this one, here's the car you need to use for XYZ series, but I don't bother with any of that, I just sell the cars anyway. Ah, 
And look at the lead we've got already. Marvellous. Yeah, we're going to beat the lap time by 14 seconds. There we go. not really much more to say about this race really it's gonna be very simple very easy to win we bounce over the curbs clout into the wall of course needing to get used to the handling of the cars again because it Playing all these different PlayStation games, you know, you get used to handling on one game and then you forget how the cars handle on another and then you have to relearn and everything else. Because everyone, every game that you play has different handling characteristics. So this one has a more, I don't know, it feels like you have more of a massive dead zone. That's all I can describe it as. It is more fluid with the handling rather than some of the other games where they're very, very twitchy. But... Oh well, anyway, let's do the usual handbrake it and go backwards across the line, or maybe not. So there we go, race complete. And we get the maximum at nine points. And the cars ain't even going to cross the line by the time uh, it goes to the next board anyway, so. But yeah, race one is complete, very easy. And we'll move swiftly on to the, uh, the, the money-giving uh, ceremony, so. Yeah, see you in a bit. And there we go then. So total new record then, 454.962 and lap 2 record of 133.336. And our bonus credit, of course. Very small amounts of money compared to the uh, the special event championships. But at least we're over 500,000 credits now, over half a million, which is great. So next race then, Deep Forest Raceway, I believe, if I'm correct. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct. Okay, uh, yeah, I will try qualifying for this one, just to get a little bit of extra money, because, you know, money is good, and I want more of it. See how, see how uh, far we can get in qualifying. And off we go. No, wide. Good thing this isn't the license test, isn't it? Otherwise, I would have failed that. A semi decent corner. Not great, but. I haven't changed any of the gearing or anything from the last championship either, so I mean this car could still go way over 200 mile an hour. Last corner, and yeah, that wasn't too bad. And we do it in a time of 1 minute 8.171. Cool. And that should be pole position very easy by about 4 seconds. Oh, seven seconds, even better. Uh, the Impressa didn't do well at all on that one. So, yeah, we'll move swiftly on. So that is an extra 2,500 or five grand. Yeah, five grand. There we go. So at least I got 510,610. Lovely job. And we'll move on to the actual race. Again, another three laps. And off we go. Goodbye. Imagine trying to race looking backwards. That would be uh, 
a feat to behold. Now, if I don't mess up some of the corners, I could possibly get a sub one minute. Or maybe not, actually, no. That might be uh, asking a little bit too much. No, wide. Ah, uh, yeah, knew that was going to happen. Perfect last corner. Will we reach 200 mile an hour? No. No is the answer. So my main focus on this championship then is just trying to get the fastest lap times to beat my previous lap records. Not going to do it by going wide all the time though. I look at these tracks and I think, what if, what if I had the money to invest in building a replica of these race circuits? That would be so utterly awesome. See, if I was Elon Musk, I'd bloody just invest in, you know, plots of land and just rebuild all the iconic GT1 tracks, bringing them up to standard, you know, grade one. Have Formula One racing there. Formula One racing at the Grand Valley Speedway. A lot better than the bloody Herman Tilka tracks, I'll tell you that much. No, oh, white again. If I hadn't messed up, I probably would have gotten really close to a sub one minute. But, nah, a little bit of understeer and God knows what else. Won by about 10 years, so that's cool. So give me my extra 9 points, that gives us 18. And we'll just move swiftly on. So 313.038 and a 102.338. Thank you for the 10,000. I will take it. Uh, we'll move on to race number three, which is special stage route five. Yes, I'm learning. No, I'm not going to qualify. I was tempted to, but it's only five grand. You know, at this stage, it's just pocket money, you know, beer money to go down the pub. Oh, I've bloody done it again. Uh, my, my thumbs are too fast. It keeps, you know, missing inputs and gives me the uh, automatic gearing rather than manual. Oh well. And away we go. Ah, oh, manual gear sucks. Or automatic gear suck, I should say. Oh well. Only for this one race. That's the thing, when the menus are... You know, you, you think you can just click through the menus or the options as quick as you can, but sometimes you drop inputs. And, uh, yeah, the game eats your commands sometimes. Let's 
of my chicane. Alright, so what's our goal for this lap? And what do we have to beat? If this is similar to... No, it's just slightly more than Deep Forest. I going to say we could probably get a one minute. But no, I'm s probably saying about a one minute four, possibly. Have to see. We can get these corners not botched. Stop going into the walls, that would be very helpful. You can hear him going all underneath the bridge. So we had a one minute seven. Mm. Yeah, one minute four might be cutting it a bit fine. Unless I grind the walls. Oh, wide. Mess that up. I was going to say pro probably a one minute five, but not now. Come on, don't understeer. So our fastest lap time then is going to be a 107.405. I don't know, we might get a 106. Nope. No, I was correct then, so. Yeah, 107, 405, I didn't mess up a lot of the corners on every single lap, so. Oh well. So, Griffith again was second. Lancer was last. So, yeah, I can't be caught now anyway. I have, uh, what, a 11 point advantage. And you can only get nine points for a win. We only got one race to go, so. And I won't be caught anyway because I'm too bloody overpowered. Anyway, 10 grand. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. And the last race. Trial Mountain. Right, this time. Manual gears, please. Yes. Manual. There we go. Didn't bloody eat my inputs that time. One, go. Ah, that was feeble. Now that we have uh, an overpowered car, we can actually try and jump over that chicane every single lap. Try and get a good uh, score for the judges. Already half a back straight lead. Now, what's the lap time on this one going to be, then? I'm going to say roughly 1.15. Uh, it might be more than that, because we're only coming around to the last section. Oh. Yeah, so I'll say more around about 1.20. Yeah, 118, I was close. 
Oh, that didn't go according to plan. So we got 118, probably shave off mm, five or six seconds off that, so maybe a 111, 112. Well, I don't know, we did have that 360 spin, so that is going to take the time up a little bit. Uh, not by much. Okay, so 111 is definitely doable. Go around the corner properly this time. Actually, possibly a 110. Let's try and bang in a good lap as we possibly can. a little bit messy. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Ah. Oh, well, at least we've got the 111. So, I got that right. 111.8. And there we go. That was it. That was the, uh, the GT Cup completed. And we get the maximum points of 36, 22, 17, 13, 7, and 5. Lovely. And uh, a new record then, 344, 392, and a 111, 887. That is the final 10 grand we're going to get before we get our championship bonus and, of course, the Chaser Le Mans edition. So, give me my championship bonus, please, of 25,000, which is very small. In retrospect, you would have thought that the GT League would have given you a bigger payout and the special events would have given you a more subtle paycheck. But, no. Get a new machine, check your garage. Yes, I will. I've already told everyone what it is anyway. In case you didn't hear, it's the Chaser Le Mans edition. Black and white. Uh, it looks very snazzy. And there it is. Hooray! Car number eight. Looks like a car from uh, Ridge Racer, but I don't think I will be using that one. 655 brake horsepower though, just over a ton, 1260 kilograms. And this are the specs, or this are the specs? That was like a Final Fantasy VII typo. This is the specs of the car. Uh, Aspiration. Turbo. Lovely. So there we go then, that was the GT Cup done. And now we're going to be on the International A Championship, so next up will be... Um, yeah, the Tuned Car Cup, and then we'll save the endurance races afterwards. So, let's have a look at the information on this one before I leave. Uh, High Speed Ring 2, Grand Valley Speedway 2, Clubman Stage Route 5 2, Autumn Ring 2, Special Stage Route 11 2. 100,000 for a championship bonus, 50 grand for a race win, 10,000 for a pole position bonus. So, yeah, that should be more accustomed, those type of payouts should be accustomed to the GT League, not the special events, which are just filler, really. But, oh well, what do I know? I'm not a game developer, I don't know these things. So, yeah, that was it then, that was the A license uh, class is done, and then we'll move on to the International A next time. So I'll leave it here for now, thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you for the Tuned Car Cup next time. So, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.